Excel offers simple yet powerful features to make our calculations easy. One such example is using the subtraction option. You can use this feature to perform a wide range of tasks such as calculating a remaining budget, finding the day difference, extracting a portion from a text, and many more. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel Demi, your day to day Excel and VBA tutorial helpline. This is Hadiul Bashar, and today I'll demonstrate how to create a subtraction formula in Excel. For this video, I will use Microsoft Excel 365. In the first example, I will show you how to use a generic subtraction formula. Here we have an employee dataset that includes the name of the employee, their salary, and expenses. Using this dataset, I will calculate the cash in hand amount, that is the difference between salary and expenses. Now, to calculate the cash in hand amount for the first employee, go to cell E5, type equal, select the cell C5 that contains the salary. Now, press the subtraction sign from the keyboard and select the expenses amount, that is cell D5 and hit enter and this returns 8000 that is the cash in hand amount of the first employee. Now to quickly get the cash in hand amount for all the employees let me use the autofill feature. For that reason go to cell E5, place the cursor at the bottom right corner of the cell E5 and double click as this plus icon appears. As a result the cash in hand amount is calculated for all the employees. This time, I will show you a different method of calculating the cash in hand amount. Here, I will use a combination of the sum function and the subtraction operator. So, to calculate the cash in hand amount, go to cell E5, type equal. Here, I will use the sum function. So, type the sum function. The sum function returns the summation of your selected range of cells. Press tab to autocomplete the sum function. As the number 1 argument of the sum function, I will select the cell C5 that contains the salary. Now place a comma as the number 2 argument of this sum function. Here I will insert a subtraction sign followed by the expenses amount from cell D5. This is because the value of cell D5 is a positive number. However, to calculate the cash in hand amount, I need to get the difference between the cell C5 and D5. So, inserting a subtraction sign before the cell reference of D5 will return a negative number. So, hit the subtraction button from your keyboard and select the cell D5. Now, close the parenthesis and hit enter. And as expected, this returns 8000, that is the cash in hand amount of the first employee and this value matches with the value we have got in the first example. So, in this way, you can use a combination of the sum function and the subtraction sign to calculate the cash in hand amount. Now, to quickly get the cash in hand amount for all the employees, let me use the autofill feature. And that's it, the cash in hand amount for all the employees are calculated. In this example, I will show you how to subtract a specific value from your entire dataset. In the employee dataset, we have the name of the employee in column B and in column C, you will find the salary. Now, all the employees need to pay a certain amount of tax and the tax payable amount is 5000. Hence, the cash in hand amount will be the tax amount subtracted from the salary amount. So, to calculate the cash in hand amount for the first employee, go to cell D5, type equal, select the salary amount that is cell C5, press the subtraction symbol and select the cell C13 that contains the tax amount. One thing I should mention here that I will subtract this tax amount from the salaries of all the employees. So, press F4 to lock the cell reference of cell C13 so that whenever I will apply the autofill feature, the cell reference won't change. And hence, we can calculate the cash in hand amount for all the employees quickly. Now, hit enter to get the cash in hand amount for the first employee and this formula returns 15,000 that is the cash in hand amount of the first employee. Now, I will use the autofill feature to get the cash in hand amount for all the employees and you can see the cash in hand amount for all the employees are calculated in the blink of an eye. 
Subtraction formula is also capable of dealing with percentages. Here we have a product data set that includes the name of the product in column B. In column C, you will find the percentage of the total product price that is 100% and in column D, you will find the discount percentage which will be applicable on top of the total percentage. Now to calculate the actual payable percentage, I will use the subtraction formula. So to calculate the payable percentage for the first product, go to cell E5, type equal, select the total percentage that is cell C5. Press the subtraction key and select the cell D5 that contains the discount percentage. Now hit enter and this returns 80%. That means you need to pay 80% of the original price to purchase the product SA. Now to calculate the payable percentage for all the products, I will use the autofill feature and you can see the payable percentage for all the products are calculated. In this way, you can apply the subtraction formula for percentages. In this example, I will show you how to subtract the values of multiple cells from a single cell. Here we have a salary and bills dataset. Under the header sector, you will find the salary and multiple types of expenses. You will find the corresponding amount in column C. Now I will calculate the cash in hand amount that is the subtraction of all the expenses from the salary amount. You can manually subtract the values. However, in this example, I will use the sum function to calculate the total bills first and then subtract that amount from the salary. So to calculate the cash in hand amount, go to cell C10, type equal, select the salary amount that is cell C5, then press the subtraction symbol. Now to get the summation of all the bills, I will use the sum function. As the number one argument of this sum function, select the cells C6 to C9 that contains all the bills. Now close the parenthesis of the sum function. Now let me briefly explain this formula to you. Here the sum function will return the summation of all the bills and that amount will be subtracted from the salary amount of cell C5. Now hit enter to get the cash in hand amount. You can see the formula has returned 8000 that is the total cash in hand amount in this case. In this way, you can use a combination of the subtraction symbol and the sum function to subtract the values of multiple cells from a single cell. Subtraction formula is also applicable to dates. In this example, I will use the subtraction formula to calculate the date difference. This is a student data set. This includes the name of the student and the submission date of an assignment. The submission dates are different for different students. Now, I will insert the today's date in the present date column and then will calculate the day difference between the present date and the submission date. And this difference will be the days remaining for submitting the assignment. To get the today's date, go to cell D5, type equal. I will use the today function, so type today. The today function returns today's date. Press tab to autocomplete the today function. Close the parenthesis of the today function and hit enter. This returns the today's date. Now to fill the present date column with today's date, let me use the autofill feature. As a result, the present date column is filled. Now I will calculate the day difference between submission date and today's date. So go to cell E5 to calculate the days remaining for the first student. So type equal, select the submission date from cell C5, insert the subtraction sign and select the present date from cell D5. This formula will count the day difference between the submission date and present date. Now hit enter to get the day difference and this returns 5, that means there are 5 days left for submitting the assignment. So the subtraction formula works on day 2. Now to calculate the days remaining for all the students, I will use the autofill feature. And in this way, I have calculated the days remaining for submitting the assignment. In this example, I will show you how to use the subtraction formula for text data type. Here I have a data set that includes the full name of some persons as well as their last name in column C. Now I will show you how to extract the first name from the full name, subtracting the 
last name one thing i should mention here that this is not a regular type of subtraction formula that i have used throughout the previous examples that means i can't use the subtraction sign to get the first name by subtracting the last name from the full name this is because you cannot apply subtraction sign for text data type so i'll show you a workaround to subtract the last name from the full name for that reason i'll use a combination of two functions the trim function and the substitute function to get the first name of the first person go to cell d5 type equal trim the trim function removes all unnecessary spaces from a text string except the single space between two adjacent words now press tab to autocomplete the trim function as the text type argument of the trim function i'll use the substitute function so type the substitute function the substitute function replaces one text string with another text string now press tab to autocomplete the substitute function as the text argument of the substitute function i'll select the cell b5 that contains the full name now place a comma as the old text argument of the substitute function i'll select the last name that is cell c5 now place another comma as a new text argument as i want to replace the last name from the full name with a single space so i'll type a pair of inverted comma now close the parenthesis of the substitute function finally close the parenthesis of the trim function now let me briefly explain this formula to you here the substitute function will replace the last name that is cell c5 from the full name that is the value of cell b5 with a single space so the substitute function will return the first name followed by a single space then the trim function will remove the single space after the first name hence this formula will return the first name of this person now hit enter to get the first name and you can see that the formula has worked properly and in this way you can get the first name by subtracting the last name from the full name now to get the first name of all the persons i'll use the autofill feature and you can see the first names of all the persons are extracted from the full name in this way you can use the subtraction formula for text i have demonstrated the step by step guide for using a subtraction formula in excel hopefully you can apply this knowledge according to your requirements and convenience you can download the practice workbook from the video description to sharpen your excel skills feel free to leave any questions suggestions or feedback in the comment section below you can go to exceldemy.com to read our excel blogs or you you can share your accelerated issues in our excel demi forum and receive free solutions for more content like this make sure to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching our video bye